Welcome to this Windows channel and this is another look at the Fall Careers Update as we continue our full review of the different options of Fall Careers Update. Once again, this is a really quick flyby of these new features, but um, we'll have specific videos doing a lot of things, showing you how everything works in the next few weeks. So I hope you enjoy the videos. Today in our, our full review of Fall Careers Update, this video will focus on My People Experience. And uh, My People Experience, which is something that should have been there in the, um, the anniversary update. We'll also take a look at the um, on-screen keyboard or the touch keyboard available um, that has a lot of changes and uh, of course there's an interaction with the My People experience with all of that also. As, uh, it's going to be uh, quite interesting. So basically, My People experience wants to bring Windows into your social life with your friends, your family. And at first, you know, you might think, well, I don't understand why Windows would, you know, have an integration with all my friends and family. And I kind of, you know, always thought of My People as something that was maybe unnecessary or until I started seeing its true value with some of the things it can do. So my people is the two little, there's like a people icon on your taskbar on the bottom right. When you click here, first it's going to say, well, we don't know much about your contacts. We want to have more contacts. And you're going to start to have the possibility to pin some contacts. And actually I have one here that I've is myself right now. And I will actually create a virtual world of myself in here with uh, fake people because I don't want to have everybody see the personal info of my uh, friends and family. So of course uh, here you enter a name, you search for a name and then it's going to start searching and saying well of all the apps that you've got we're going to look at all the apps and see if there is you know that same person in the different apps. So here it's proposing to me uh, Skype and of course people. But it, depending on all the apps that you've got, it's going to propose more or less apps so you can add these people depending on the apps that you've got. And of course, it can go in all of these places, mail, Skype, people, Facebook, if you're using the Facebook app, and much more. Now, you might say, well, okay, that, that, that's kind of interesting. So it's kind of a centralized social place for all your contacts, but it adds a layer that I think that's the interesting part of it. Over the years as a tech guy, sharing information with friends and family has been at the heart of some of the questions that people have asked me. How do I send a file? How do I share this web page? How do I... Well, once your people experience is set up, you can, first of all, pin some of your favorite contacts, your friends, your family, on the taskbar, as I've pinned one here of my name. And what this does is now you have a very, very interesting way of doing things. You can actually go to the File Explorer, for example. And in the File Explorer, once you're there, you've got a file that you want to share with somebody. You can actually click on that file and drop it on the, um, on the icon of your friends or your family. And depending on how you connect with them, it will give you a way of sending that file to that person. It's much easier than starting mail and doing an attachment and or you know trying to find a, a way of using Dropbox or everything. If all of that is configured within your system, people will actually have information about how you link with all of these friends and family. And it will make it very simple for you to share with them. So this is kind of interesting. Also, the My People experience has a set of uh, emojis that are, of course, going to show up depending on how people interact with you. And that's why we also bring one of the features that's available with uh, the Fall Careers Update is the possibility to get the famous uh, emoji or on-screen keyboard that is available. So if you have the touch keyboard, uh, you can actually visualize not just you know if you have a touch device it's fantastic but not just that there's also something that's really cool with using the on-screen keyboard is the fact that there's emojis of all kinds there and depending on how you actually use your 
uh, on screen or touch keyboard, you will be able to have all of that. So if I put myself, for example, here in tablet mode, and now I kind of want to uh, have a touch keyboard of some sort, well, basically the keyboard will actually have emojis of all sorts. So for example, I need to type into something here. There'll be an on-screen keyboard that will show up. That on-screen on -screen keyboard will actually give me access to not only a basic keyboard, but now a whole set of emojis, if updated emojis of all sorts, and everything is in there. I mean, there are so many things in here. It's just crazy. If you're a emoji fan, you'll see that there's tons of things with that. And of course, there are some shortcuts to all of this information uh, and all of this, uh, these possibilities. So depending on what you do, uh, it's, it could be a very interesting experience. So there's going to be not just that social experience coming up, but it's going to be also, um, you know, you have the possibility to, to use emojis of all kinds and you have the possibility to interact with them. There will be animated emojis when people want to actually do something. So if they send you a file, they do, uh, you know, want to just, you know, chat in, a, a, or you get a notification in Facebook, say, or a, a private message. Um, there will be reactions with the My People experience. Now, apart from the file sharing, making it easy thing, I'm not really sure I'm going to use the My People experience, but it's an interesting thought. And you know what? Of all the features, it's basically Microsoft just putting things out there and trying to find out how these will, of course, work. And of course, I'll have separate videos showing you how everything works um, in the next few weeks. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our video.